is uh, His Excellency, the High Representative for the United Nations Alliance of Civilizations, His Excellency Nasser Abdelaziz al Nasser, Saadat al Safir al Muwatil al Sami, Lima'alikum al Kalima Fatafabalu. Shukran, thank you. Uh, Your Excellency, Ms. Leila Aliyev, FAO Goodwill Ambassadors. Uh, before I start my remarks, let me add, it's not only great food in this country, but a great hospitality. And I'm sure everyone here is really enjoying his stay and enjoying this very uh, great environment. And we are always happy to come back to, to Baku. Uh, Your Excellency, Mr. Abul Fas, Karayev, Minister of Culture and Tourism of Azerbaijan, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends. I'm very pleased to speak again in, in this forum with a new focus for more broadly defined human security. As you know, by now, the four pillars of the Alliance, education, migration, youth, and media, with added priorities of sport, music, arts, and food, is intended to promote cultural diversity worldwide. <coughs> we are very pleased to work with FAO on the last issue. During the sixth global forum, of the UNAOC, <clears throat> which took place in Bali, Indonesia in 2014. FAO, in partnership with the UNAOC, organized a side event on diversity in food production. Let's explore the role that food production system play in supporting diversity within societies around the world. It also highlighted the important role of family farmers in this production system and explored the role that communication plays in sustaining diverse uh, agriculture communities worldwide. The event was part of an MOU signed between UNAOC and FAO to increase public awareness on how food systems are the bridge for commercial and cultural exchange between cultures through food we learn to know and appreciate diversity. Having this conversation on the importance of food security and community resilience is so timely because we live in a world where hundreds of millions of people suffer from hunger and, <coughs> and malnutrition. Every day, there are now 1.4 million children at the risk of dying from famine and 20 million people on the verge of starvation in the four countries of Yemen, Somalia, Sudan, and Nigeria. As we will know, the United Nations, FAO, UNCTAD, WTO, and other related entities are leading the efforts to tackle this widespread threat to human welfare in developing countries. But it will take sustained cooperation, dialogue, and understanding among all stakeholders to find enduring solutions. To provide an overall perspective on food security and the 2030 UN Development Agenda within the framework of intercultural dialogue, I wish to cover several points regarding when the legacy of the World Food Summit in 1996 and the World Fair in Milan in 2015 and the right to food, food and community resilience, food and intercultural understanding, food as an opportunity to bring together cultures and people, food and youth employment, and food sustainable development and peace. However, I would like to focus on the four last points 
due to their relevance to our work. It is hoped that governments, the business sector, and civil society take this seriously as a means to end poverty by empowering vulnerable communities and societies to achieve food security. While eating is basic to human existence, food should, be, food should also be celebrated as a form of social and cultural exchange based on a wide variety of practices, beliefs, and norms. What happens when people from different cultures are brought together around the meal? When we are invited to discover a new ingredient, a new flavors, a new cooking, teaching, a new table manners, we engage with others. Sharing a meal gives us an intimate insight into cultural heritage and the social manners of our host. Food allows first-hand admiration into cultural diversity. It is the most universal factor of intercultural sharing. When arriving in a new country, food becomes a central element to the way migrants cope with having to live far from home, but the food cooked by migrants is influenced not only by their traditions, but also by new ingredients and practices they encounter in their host country and incorporate uh, in their meal pre uh, preparation. In recent years, Europe has witnessed the rise of grassroots organizations using food as a means for cultural exchange between refugees and local communities. Some have developed cook uh, books. Some have organized cooking classes led by migrants, and others have launched their own mobile restaurants to invite the local population to discover the marvelous of the culinary diversity brought by refugees. The goal of this organization is to create a new sense of togetherness between migrants and locals and to achieve long-lasting integration, tolerance, and understanding beyond sharing a meal. These initiatives led to deeper intercultural exchanges between refugees and locals and foster mutual respect. It gives refugees the opportunity to to interact with the local population in a friendly setting and gives the host community the chance to learn about a new culture and new traditions. Through their energy, imagination, and initiatives, young people have a crucial role to play in meeting current challenges. As their elders, we have to listen to them and encourage them to actively take part in the global efforts for peace and the achievements of the 17 SDGs. From local to global level, a growing number of initiatives is seeking to create employment opportunities for young people across sectors connected to food. With jobs created, we are protecting our youth from failing victims to radicalization and marginalization. Architecture is key to achieving food security and sustainability. It is a major provider of employment and life foods, especially in developing and emerging economies. Making agriculture more sustainable is, is essential beyond addressing crucial environmental issues such as climate change and water management, we should also make sure to provide adequate working conditions and employment opportunities that remain compatible with the local customs and traditions. Population growth has ex exposed new global insecurities. It is the main driver behind the ongoing changes in food production and consumption 
across the world. Rapid urbanization poses enormous challenges in many countries, particularly in the global south where urbanization rates are progressing rapidly. While it has led to improvements in infrastructure and availability, it has also triggered changes in diets with considerable economic and environmental impact. The next few decades, we will see unprecedented urban growth and it's expected that nearly 70% of the world population will live in cities by 2050. Therefore, the links between urbanization and food security should not be underestimated. Let me conclude by paying tribute to His Holiness Bob Francis for his food waste campaign that was launched two years ago. It's a project that should inspire our combined efforts to fight poverty and hunger. It also has its place in the interreligious and intercultural dialogue. Both approaches are based on respect for the other and the consideration we give to Hungary people. I thank you.